Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel, Patty's Hobby World. Um, as you can see, I finished her. She is all done. It took a couple of days. It took a, it took a while to get this done. Um, several hours. But um, I didn't want to rush through this. Um, so I wanted it to be as, 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 as good as I can get it. So I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit of, uh, talk about what I, what I did, um, for her. Um, because what happened was I videotaped it and I lost the video. I can't find it. Couldn't find the video. So basically what we're going to talk about is a couple of things in terms of how I was able to complete this beauty here. And, um, I have videos one, two, three, and four on the, the beginning parts, uh, the drawing, the coloring. Um, I colored this in uh, oil-based color pencils, um, Brunt Funner color pencils, and um, I used gel pen in here to create that glow, that just a glow right in between, and of course I highlighted the underbelly of the snake and uh, what I did with the gel pen if you didn't see my previous content was I got the gel pen and I just dabbed a little boom 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 got a little bit on here and I didn't want it to keep it starked so I just tapped it here I'll show you another one just got some gel on there and then tapped it to create that that glow and then I tapped it so that's how I did that and then I did that with this the yellow and then I did the other side with the green so that created that little glowing effect that you see and then here I did um, a little stippling um, I, I, I got a marker and just dapped a little bit just to create a more realistic and, and uh, snake. I wanted the snake to have some character. And as you can see down here, I did a little bit of stippling. And um, this side I left. I gave it to her, This uh, the, the totally morphed Medusa. This side I just left uh, without no stippling. All right. And then a lot of shading, you know, to create that round effect of the snake because that's what creates the dimension um, when you're rounding off um, with shadow effects um, and it creates this this nice this nice look here this nice roundness okay and then uh, what I did was I, I did a base marker Oh, what marker did I use? I think I used a water base. Uh, no, I actually used, um, these are my alcohol. So I laid a base of color down when I started on the back. So once I laid the color down, then I went in and uh, with a black pencil, just began to cut, just do a quick half circle to every scale that each snake had. Every one I did a flick, 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 half circle because that's going to create more dimension to the snake. Um, then I used the black to create um, highlighting, I'm um, shadowing on the, both sides of the snake, around the eyes, and just con continue to shade so that each snake came alive. You can see each snake. So that's what I try to, uh, to achieve. I mean, I love this one right here because all you see pretty much is the underbelly and then here. Okay. And then I did the same on this side, each flick, each, each one I, I did each one is, it took some time, but, and I even see, I missed a couple here and I missed a couple here. to show each scale 
Now I could have done something more different to the scales, but I wanted an over, overall look. And as I keep catching some of the ones that I missed last night. So that's what I did for each one is to create uh, that scale. All right. And then I went even a step further and I wanted to create some stripes. So I took my oil-based pencils, I found a, a good color, and I created these stripes here. If you can see, I didn't want the stripes to be too pronounced, but I created these stripes, which gave the uh, snake even more realistic um, look. And here you can see the stripes here, the stripes. So that came out really well. I like that. Um, it took a lot of time. This is not a, a page that you're going to color. You could zoom in so you can see uh, the stripes. Not going to be a page that you're going to color overnight or in one day. It's going to take some time. Um, but it came out very, very well. Um, I like it, and um, I achieved what I was looking to achieve in my mind's eye. And that's what's most important. What you want to look, what you wanted to look, not what others. Um, yes, I did. I looked at a lot of Medusas. I saw a lot of Medusas, and um, I got inspiration, but I came back to the table with my own version. And I hope you like it. I do. So thank you very much for viewing. Continue to view, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification button. Because I'll continue to color as long as uh, you're happy watching me color. So once again, stay inspired. It's free. Um, it's okay. And uh, color, color, color. Thank you.